Hi, I'm Noam Lavi from Sonicsmith, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to the Convertor E1. The Convertor E1 is a very versatile and expandable digital controlled oscillator. You can control its pitch from audio, from CV, and even from MIDI if you decide to expand it with a digital expander. Every time you power up your Converter E1, it's going to work in audio control mode. That means that the internal oscillator is going to stay frequency locked to the input audio's pitch, giving you control voltage outputs for pitch, envelope and gate. section is significantly upgraded from previous versions and is very impressive for its size. It offers balanced or unbalanced input with 50 dB of gain, high Z input of 2 million ohms, two selectable high-pass filter frequencies, and a unique auto gain that measures the input's level and gives you perfect gain setting in a fraction of a second. You can control the gain manually by pressing on the bottom encoder which by default is going to control the gate threshold. You get audio outputs for the oscillator sound and the preamp, and you also get control voltage input for frequency modulation that is continuous, but it also can be quantized for musical scales. The preamp section also includes two dynamics processors. One is a limiter that is always engaged, protecting the ADC from clipping, and the other one is compression. Compression comes in two flavors. In ACO mode, we get digital compressor expander that's going to affect the envelope output and be only audible on the oscillator output. However, in VCO mode, when we decouple the oscillator's pitch from the preamp, we can use an analog compressor, and that's going to affect both the preamp output as well as the envelope output. You can shift the pitch of the internal oscillator as well as the pitch CV out with the FM input, that's one volt per octave, as well as with the top encoder. That's going to shift the pitch in steps of semitones in a range of four octaves, and if you want to undo the pitch shift back to unison, you can just press on the encoder. You can select the wave shape between a pure sine wave, triangle, square or sawtooth, and there will be a few more sounds available just as a teaser for the optional full synthesizer voice firmware. Every time we press on a function button or certain combinations of them, both encoders will change what they control depending on what we pressed. For example, if we press on the wave shape button, then the top encoder is going to be selecting the wave shapes or presets. If we press envelope button, now we can access the slew limiter. The top knob is going to change the attack time and the bottom knob is going to change the release. And if we press envelope and A gain together, then we can access the compression ratios on the top encoder and the attenuator on the bottom encoder. You can expand the converter E1 in two ways. One is the firmware. You can expand it with firmware number two. That's going to give you a full synthesizer voice. And the other way is with a digital expander called the Midvertor. The Midvertor is going to give us MIDI output extracted from the audio, and you can connect up to seven converters to one Midvertor for polyphonic MIDI output and preset switching. You're also going to get access to many more features, which I'll discuss in a later video. Both the converter and Midvertor are on pre-sale right now, so we can scale up production. They can be sold separately or together for a discount. So go to our website to learn more about the products. You can download the user guide there to see how you can control them. And subscribe to our email list for notifications.